One way to solve a problem like this is to compare it to a shape that you already know. We can compare it to this convex figure by drawing a line through it. Here is an exaggerated version of the figure that was given in the problem. When we draw a line through it, we see that we divide this figure into two pieces, one here and one here. And then as we extend the line to the other arm of this figure, we have a third piece. And you can see that to maximize the number of non-overlapping regions, we can intersect both arms of this figure. In our convex figure, one line divides it into two pieces. And in this, the, the given figure in the problem, we have two pieces plus one more additional on the other arm for um, three pieces. Again, in a strictly convex figure, when we draw two lines through, we create two additional pieces. In something resembling our given figure, we draw one line through here. We can draw a second line through here and make it emerge and cross the second arm. So similarly to the convex figure, we have one piece here and two pieces here. But because we cross the second arm of the figure, we're going to create a third piece. So we start off with three pieces, and we're going to add three pieces for a total of six non-overlapping pieces. With three lines, we can draw our third line to have the most intersecting points with our other previous lines, maybe something like this. Intersects here and here. This generates one, two, three additional pieces. It's going to be too difficult for me to draw clearly in our um, given figure. So we can just assume that we're going to be able to divide our right arm, creating three additional pieces as we did with this convex figure, and then one additional piece in the left arm. So we're going to add four pieces for a total of 10 non-overlapping shapes. Our fourth line, we want to intersect the previous three lines in order to generate the most new pieces. So maybe something like this. I'm going to intersect here, here, and here. That's going to generate one, two, three, and four new pieces. So with our, our given shape, we can assume that we'll generate those four pieces in the right arm and then have one additional piece in the left arm. This will give us a total of 10 plus 5 for 15 pieces, which is the answer.